Hello everyone and welcome to Food Review UK. My name is Michael Jameson and today we are going to be reviewing another one of the McDonald's Great Tastes of America. This is the California Melt. What's special about this burger? Well, it's got cheese coolie, coolie, weird, cool cheese sauce, which basically just sounds like cheese flavour mayo, bacon, lettuce, pepper jack cheese, which is like cheese with tiny pieces of red pepper and jalapeno pepper in, and on this sesame seed bun. It would come with onions, but, and I've picked up a lot of flack for this recently, including Burger Lad, I know you were calling me out, brother, for taking out the onions. Now, I will say that I do not like onions, and I could understand the criticism if it was like I was taking out the sauce, like, or the bacon and the lettuce and the onions, like, if you're removing half the burger. But there's nothing special about raw, standard onions. I know it's going to add a bit of crunch and I know it's going to add a bit of oniony flavour. I just don't want that in my burger. And also, not everyone would want onions either. Like a lot of people would agree with me. I'm sure there's plenty of people. Not I'm sure, I know. Because you guys have said there's plenty of people who order it without the onions. So I'm doing it for you guys as well. Anyway, it sounds good. I'm going to get involved before it loses any more heat, any more temperature. Here we go, the California melt. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Weird. The bacon's way better than the first one, the Miami. Cheese sauce is not too bad. It's a lot more flavoursome than the standard mayo. Has quite a punchy, tangy hit. Get a bit of crunch from the lettuce. A bit of crunch. Yeah, that sauce really is surprisingly tangy. Almost tangy like a barbecue sauce, which is a bit weird. Maybe possibly slightly overpowering, but it's good. I can't taste the pepper jack, uh, I'm so sorry, this happens every time it gets stuck in my moustache. Can't taste the pepper jack, jack cheese at all, just seems to mix in with the actual cheese sauce. Good though, the, I really like the beef, as with all of these great tastes of America, I've enjoyed the beef a lot. It's not bad, not my favourite one, but it's still good. Yeah, it all combines pretty well and the sauce is uh, going everywhere. And is yeah, it is quite powerful to be fair. It's not, not very subtle. I wouldn't say it's super cheesy, it's just very... Very tangy. I do still like it a lot. Probably give this one of the lower ratings. Um, I give it a very, very, very high four stars. I mean, it is delicious, but compared to the other Great Taste of America, for me, it's, it's probably probably the weakest one. Uh, love the Texas barbecue. Bacon on that was incredible, and the barbecue sauce was really nice. But it's all right. It's worth a try. Definitely worth a try. This was £3.79 in my region, and I found out that apparently there's different prices all across the country. Who knew? How much is it where you live? Thank you very much for watching everyone. As I say, let me know if you've had this product. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. And subscribe for more videos.